Coming up, the world's top female archers battled out for compound gold in the World Cup final. And there's no shortage of drama as the compound men aim for the ultimate honour. All year, the world's best archers have gone head-to-head -head on the Hyundai Archery World Cup circuit in Medellin, Shanghai, Antalya and Berlin to earn the right to compete here in Moscow, Russia in the World Cup final. This season, Colombian Sarah Lopez booked her place by winning the first stage on home soil. The season moved on to China where Korea's Soche won qualified by winning the event in Shanghai. South Africa's Daniel Wenzel struck gold to confirm her place in the finals by winning in Turkey. And the last automatic spot went to the USA's Alexis Ruiz, who claimed gold in Germany. Those four are joined by the ranking qualifiers, Russian Natalia Avdieva, Toya Ellison of Slovenia, Tanya Jensen from Denmark, and Sophie Dodemont of France. We begin with the women's quarterfinals where a tight contest was predicted between number two seed Sarah Lopez of Colombia and Korea's So Chai Won. Despite a perfect 30 from the Korean in the fifth end, the defending champion held her nerve to book her place in the semi-finals. Slovenia's Toya Ellison was making her second appearance at the World Cup Finals. In her quarter-final, she faced the experienced Sophie Dodemont of France. Ellison took control of the match in the second end and stayed in front from then on. She looked ready to book her place in the semi-finals. No. Oh. oh my goodness, so they're tied now. So it went to a shoot-off. Nine. Oh. Opportunity here for Dodemont, Nine. a 10 to book her place in the semi-finals. Long hold. Cinq. Yes! Oh, it's just on the line and that will be marked as a 10 for Sophie Dodemont. Quarter-final three saw Daniel Wenzel of South Africa taking on Tanya Jensen of Denmark. The South African was always playing catch-up, and it was the Dane who progressed. Oh, right into the centre of the target. She led from the off. What a match-up there was in the fourth quarter-final. World number one and top seed Alexis Ruiz of the USA against Russian world champion and home favourite Natalia Avdieva. Ruiz crumbled under pressure on her final arrow and on her birthday, Avdieva was quite happy to accept that gift. She took the match and sealed her place in the semi-finals. She drops it into the eight. She only needed a seven to take the win. Natalia Avdieva, she won the world championships and now she's taken out the world number one at the World Cup Finals here on home soil. The birthday girl is through. The first semi-final featured Sarah Lopez up against Sophie Dodemont. After a measure, Lopez made a perfect start to end one to take the early lead. From that point on, she controlled the match and never gave her French opponent an opportunity to get back into things. Sarah Lopez has made another step towards the history books here. She's in the final of the compound women's event. Russian home favourite Natalia Avdieva faced Tanya Jensen in the other semi-final. The match turned in the second end as the world champion seized an opportunity to edge ahead. With the finals placed at stake, both yeah, archers ten, ten, were giving ten, ten. it everything. After a measure, it was the Russian yeah. who maintained a slender advantage going into the final end. No. Avdieva saved her best to last. With a perfect 30, she booked her place in the World oh, Cup ten, final ten, ten. on home soil. Perfect 30 from Natalia Avdieva. She goes through to the final here on home soil. 
In the bronze medal match, Sophie Dodemont did well to recover from her semi-final disappointment to claim victory against Tanya Jensen. And Sophie Dodemont from France will be on the podium here in Russia. The gold medal match featured Colombian Sarah Lopez, who was looking to make history by winning her fifth World Cup. But standing in her way was the formidable Russian world champion, Natalia Avdieva. This for the gold medal here in Moscow, and Lopez will get us underway. Yeah. What a way to start the match with a perfect X. Matched by Natalia Avdieva. Yeah. And another one from Sarah. This is exactly what we would expect from a shooter like her. That's just a bit high. I think she might make an adjustment. Yeah. Oh, great ten, ten, start yes, yes, from yes, the de yes, yes. defending champion, a perfect 30. Nine. Natalia Avdiova yes. drops her third arrow into the All nine, right, and it looks like the first yeah, arrow is going to be subject to a measure. She'll definitely want that one to be marked up to a 10, because she won't want to trail by two points at this early stage. No. 10, 10, 9. Well, it's 10-10-9 uh, for Natalia Avdieva. She's going to be marked up to a 29 here. There is confirmation, but she trails by one against Sarah Lopez. What a start from the Colombian. Oh. The door has been open wide here. Good recovery from Natalia Avdieva. Opportunity to extend her lead by two points here for Sarah Lopez. Yeah, oh, perfect 30 again that's two in a row from the defending champion Sarah Lopez going for her fifth World Cup finals title Archery is all about uh, getting an opportunity and then taking it and Avdieva presented a massive opportunity in the second end to Sarah Lopez Natalia Avdieva trailing by three. She needs to be shooting some more tens right now. Another twenty eight from the Russian. Nine. First nine of the match, but she's okay. She's still feeling comfortable about this. Well, it's been a cracking start from Sarah Lopez, dropping just a single point in the first three ends and leads now by four points. We go into the fourth here. Diego training. My four points will shoot first. Not oh. at all happy with that one. A seven is the worst shot we've seen from Natalia Avdieva all day. 
Yeah, and that's it. The response is perfection from Sarah Lopez. She's unfazed. Great reaction, though, from the Russian. The problem is, has the horse bolted? Sarah's on fire. She's been waiting for this match, and I'm sure she's going to capitalize right now. Eight. So, the worst end by far from Avdieva oh, yeah, has yeah. opened the door for Sarah Lopez. She's dropped just one point in this entire gold medal match, and she now leads by a whopping nine points. Sarah's three shots away from taking the title of most wins at a World Cup final. I, sh I think she just looks very calm and relaxed. She's enjoying the moment. There it is. That's exactly what she needs to start this end. Yeah. Matched. It's been a phenomenal performance from Lopez. Oh! Did you see that twitch? Oh, wow. wow. She recovered yeah. from it, though, didn't she? That was a big twitch. She just lost her back tension there, and she wanted to let go of the shot. Puro ritmo. Bien, yes. yes. What a remarkable performance from Lopez. A deep breath. Avdieva, well, she's 10 behind. She gets a 10. She's level on score with Lopez. Lopez just needs to hit the target here. Yeah, wow. She finishes with a 10 and another perfect 30. Sarah Lopez dropped just one point on her way to her fifth World Cup title here in Moscow. She has made history. She's the first archer to win five World Cup finals. I'm really excited because I knew it was going to be hard. I think the best match was the first one. I knew it was going to be the hardest one for me. And I think I did a good job. I'm really happy because even though I didn't have the best year of my life, I, I already made history with this. With victory here in Moscow, Lopez has now won the Hyundai Archery World Cup Finals a record five times, and all of those have come in the last six years. Still to come, the top eight compound men go head to head, but only one can take gold in the World Cup Final. The USA's Braden Gelantine knows exactly what it takes to win a World Cup Final. He's done it twice, in 2012 and 2017. Facing him in the first quarter final was Evren Kyron of Turkey. Gelantin seemed to have found his rhythm by N3 and started stretching his lead. A perfect 30 from Gelantin. Braden finished in style. A perfect 30 sealed the match and with it a semi finals place. Four out of five perfect scores. The second quarter final saw 30 year old Colombian Daniel Munoz making his maiden appearance in a World Cup final. He was up against experienced 40-year-old Italian Sergio Pagni, the first archer to win back-to-back -back finals in 2009 and 2010. Munoz had been in good form going into this match and he took the lead for the first time after end three. A pair of eights in the final end did the damage for Pagni. Munoz was never going to throw away that kind of opportunity and he moved on to the semi-finals. The USA's James Lutz has been a revelation this season with a 100% senior record. Gold in Antalya was followed by a world championship win in Den Bosch. Facing him in the third quarter final was Moscow native Anton Buliev, who was sure of a raucous home backing. With nothing to separate these two, it was only in N4 that the Russian finally edged ahead. Lutz didn't look happy throughout with too many nines. Buliev held his nerve to take the match. Oh, 
terrific 30. What a performance from Anton Boleyev, the 23-year-old Russian world number eight, is through to the semi-finals here in Moscow. Number one seed Mike Schlusser of the Netherlands appeared in the fourth quarter-final. Standing between him and a place in the semis was Slovakian Josef Bozanski. The Dutchman was in ominous form and didn't drop a point oh, in the first that, four that, ends. That is another perfect score. Schlusser was one arrow away from a perfect match. Oh, it's always the way. The very last arrow goes into the nine and a 149 out of 150 for Mike Schlusser. A rueful smile on his face, but he's done it. He's through to the semi-finals here in Moscow. The first semi-final featured world number one Braden Gelantine against Colombian Daniel Munoz. Both men looked in the mood for this one and it was a perfect start from the pair. It was only after N4 that Gelantine managed to open up some daylight on his opponent. From then on, the American never looked like faltering and just managed to edge out his opponent in a high quality contest. Oh, he says yes as he releases the arrow. He knew that was going straight into the middle of the target. A brilliant performance from both athletes here. But Braden Gelantine takes the victory. It was top seed versus home favourite in the second semi-final as Mike Schlusser and Anton Bulyev clashed. Both archers shrugged off the pressure and made a perfect start. Bulyev was shooting well, but Schlusser was exceptional and he was punishing every mistake. The Dutchman dropped his first point in the match with his 12th arrow. That gave the Russian the slightest opportunity. But that was the only point Schlusser dropped to finish on a 1-4-9. Not much more Bulyev could have done. But he dropped out and Mr. Perfect marched on to the final against Braden Gelanty. In the bronze medal match, Daniel Munoz claimed a podium place with a dramatic win over Anton Bulyev. Oh no, and Bulyev had the opportunity to draw level and he shoots a nine. The bronze medal goes to Daniel Munoz of Colombia. What a final we had in prospect. The number one and number two seeds, Mike Schlusser of the Netherlands and Braden Gelantine of the USA going head to head for the title. This for the gold medal. Mike Schlusser, a 25 year old from the Netherlands. And world number two will shoot first. Absolutely perfect shot to start the match. We're expecting high quality, and it looks like that's what we're going to get. Wow. Perfect score for Mr. Perfect to kick us off. Oh, Perfect score from Braden Gelantine as well. No point drop so far. These are the two best male compound archers in the world right now. Braden Galantine is ranked one in the world. Mike Schlosser is ranked number two. Mike Schlosser actually came into the finals as the first ranked archer and Braden Galantine as the, as the, as the second. <laughs> Just matching each other there with both their shots. Ah, 
Something I noticed about uh, Mike Schlosser's shots is that he's reacting a little bit more with his bow arm. I'd love to see him stay calm throughout right until the end. Well, the first drop point from Braden Gelantine, the second arrow of the second set. Now it's about how Schlosser responds. Another perfect score. One drop point, and it's really, you know, it's horrible to say it, but you're looking for the first mistake from one of these archers. That's how good they are, and then it's how how both of them then respond to that mistake, whether they make it or whether it's their opponent that's made it. Start of the third end here, and shooting on target two, it's Braden Gelantine who will start things off. Another nine. This is another big opportunity for Mike Schlusser. Well, making a slight adjustment there after Coach Elzinger said something to him. Galantine needs to recover his composure, and he does so, putting it into the ten ring. There's no question that Mike Schlosser is dialed in and very focused on the X. It's one of those shots where you want to let down the moment you get back to full draw. First nine from Schlosser. He matches Braden Galantine, so only leads by that single point when there was an opportunity to go two points ahead, but still, vitally, it's Schlusser who has the lead. You could hear Braden talking about what he was thinking through that shot, and he said, it's just one of those shots that you want to let go before getting to full draw. Galantina oh. starts the fourth end with another nine. Oh. Yep, he knew that was going right in the middle. Oh, it's a second nine. Shaking his head, making an adjustment, Braden Galantine. This is a massive opportunity for Schlusser. Ah, the X ring as well. Ah, there we go. Absolutely perfect again from Mike Schlusser. Another 30 puts him three points clear. And that's the quality that Mike Schlusser can put down the range. Just two drop points from Galantine. And now that lead looks massive after four ends. This fourth end, he was back in the center of the target and back with the head nod after releasing the arrow because he knows it's gone into the X ring. Look how close those two arrows are. And the third one also on the X ring. Nine. And it's Please. another nine to get things underway. And Schlusser has now got room for manoeuvre. There we go. Up the spin, you want. Oh. Over correction there, one right, one left. He can afford a smile, I think, because he knows this one has probably got away from him. Wow. Mr. Perfect yeah, with another 10. Oh. 
Finishing with a 10 and a 144. But Mike Schlusser just needs a six to take the title here in Moscow. Oh, oh my word! He shot his first eight of the entire tournament. It's more than enough. That's what he needed to get through. Just a six, so an eight has done it. Mike Schlosser is the champion of the 2019 Hyundai Archery World Cup Finals. It feels really good. Uh, I'm super happy. I came here like with really good confidence, and when it eventually comes out here, it's it's awesome feeling. That's it for the 2019 Hyundai Archery World Cup season that promised plenty and did not fail to deliver. The climax here in Moscow saw Sarah Lopez claim a record fifth Hyundai Archery World Cup champion title and Mike Schlusser take men's gold and his second circuit crown with another outstanding performance. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again in 2020.